So we also we every every the end of every month we do a uh, kind of an industry update as far as what we know is going on in the in the real estate and in the note in the in the note and mortgage space, right? I mean, if, if you didn't know that if people didn't know that, you know, right now is a great time to be in the business. If you know the right strategies, right, with creative financing and uh, and hey, guess what's back, ladies and gentlemen, non-performing loans. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shocker our update that we did last week with our, you know, with some slides and so on. So if you want me to show those, that's great. Or we can just talk through everything. Uh yeah, listen, if I'd love to see the graphics because I know you guys work hard on those things. <laughs> so whenever yeah, you're ready, ready. I, will, I will, Sharu brings it up. I will be ready to rock, guys. Excellent. Very yes. good. So, guys, we'll make this. And again, uh, if uh, I'll send these slides to you guys, if any of your folks want them. So as we know, yes, uh, well, pardon me. I said, yes, please do send it to us. Yeah, we'd, okay, we'd I will. love yeah, to have sure these. Will. So mortgage rates, right, continue to continue a downward spiral, right? I haven't checked this week, but they are down a bit. We can see that, uh, you know, the uh, the 30 year uh, fixed and I'm going to get my pen here so I can be really fancy, guys. The 30 year fixed rate <laughs> over here is uh, 2.78. Here's the arm the adjustable rate, but look at the 15 year rate, right? So it is, you know, never been a, never been a lower interest rates guys. So again, we said real estate's on fire. So we go to the next slide here and guys, Wendy, Bill, John, mortgage credit availability index. This is how easy that it is or how difficult it is for folks to go out there and get a new uh, get a new mortgage, right? So rates are way down, and so we look over here in this column here, right? This is kind of when the pandemic started. So credit of mortgage credit, and this is put out by the uh, Mortgage Bankers Association, right? We're just not making this stuff up. Was somewhere in the mid one eighties, right? So pretty pretty simple to get a loan, right? So we see that, boom, it, it just drops off a cliff, you know, in, in, in June of last year. And then it kind of and then, boom, look, in the first part of this year, it starts to come back up. But and this is the latest stuff right now. It has dropped down to 118.8. What does that mean? Well, if you wanted to go out and get one of those 2.78% rates or 2.12% rates, it's going to be a little more difficult for you. Right. The average profile of someone that's going to get that low rate now is uh, you're going to have to have a credit score of north of 750. You're going to have to put at least 20 percent down and you're going to have to have a debt to income ratio of uh, overall of no more than about 35 percent. So, yeah, wow. the rates are like that. But, hey, rates are low but it's harder to get them. And then we look at this, right? Two days ago, purchase of luxury home surge, luxury home, 1.25 million, uh, 1.025 million. It's gone up 25% year over year. <laughs> I'm sorry, median wow. sales. Look at that. 88.2% those have gone up and it's gone. They've gone up across the board, right? Expensive here. Mid-priced here, um, here in the affordable, and then the most affordable. So, guys, we know right that real estate is on fire. You know, it just everything; those indicators are there. Days on market are down. All of those crazy things are happening out there in the market. You know, the the opportunity for for folks like us, for you guys, and and uh, for for us in the notes space is that. Those folks, those those 30 or 35 percent of the folks that could get a loan last year that have money to put down, they have good credit. They just don't have stability of income. 
can't get a regular loan. So what does that mean? Well, that means they come, they, you know, we show them how to do a creative finance deal. You guys loan the money to go out and do that. And we know that the interest rates on non-qualified mortgages, right? Those are qualified mortgages. Those low rates are in the, what, six to nine, six to 10% rate um, at a commercial bank. So, you know, opportunities, yes. So we see that side of the business and, and we see that according to Redfin, um, investors snap up more single family homes during the uh, pandemic, right? So investors are just out there and they're looking, mm -hmm. look, 16.1% on the multifamily or the multifamily is up here, but this just continues to tick up, right? So, um, investors, typically investors that are buying, you know, less than 10 houses a year, 10 houses or less. Well, they're jumping in from multifamily into single family again, because, well, everybody thinks that's the, the, the way to go. Right. So then we see that side of the business and then we see the other side of the business, right? And this was from what, 10 days ago or so when wall street journal reported that, wow, you know, End of eviction moratorium coming up. Eight million landlords own one to 10 properties. And we know that, well, most of those haven't received rents for quite a while. So what happens on uh, last Friday? No, yes, no, Monday. CDC issues new eviction uh, ban effective through October 3rd. Guys, look at this. 11 million Americans are behind on their rents and uh, as the Delta uh, variant surges. So we've got real estate on fire up top here. And then on the other side of that, we've got, you know, we've got things like this happening. So here's what we know. Here's the kind of the underbelly of all of that. Landlords are owned 55 to 60 or owed 55 to 65 billion dollars in unpaid rents. The states have received 47 billion, right, Wendy? You go, mm. yeah. <laughs> Three billion of that has been distributed, right? And this has been out there for a little while. 1.74 million loans are still in forbearance. Right now, they're not all of those will end up, you know, going into foreclosure, but a pretty good percentage. Right. Two million homes are somewhere in some state of default. And so that's, you know, we're bumping up there around four million. And guys, think about it like this. At any given time in the U.S., 53, there are 53 million single family first mortgages. So you know, that's, that's a pretty high percentage of that, right? That's about almost eight, 9%. Now here's the crazy thing, right? People thought that if everything was going really well prior to the pandemic and talked to Chaz, uh, Chaz Gwynn from Revolve Capital yesterday, and there are 5.5 million legacy non-performing loans in the system, which means they predated the pandemic. Can you believe that's crazy, isn't it? Wow. So wow. when I say non-performing loans are out there, um, you know, they're there. And this is, you know, this sounds good on one side, right? 91.8% of borrowers made their monthly payments last year or last month. But that means almost, uh, what, 8.2% didn't. And that represents millions and millions and millions of non-performing loans. So, you know, it is it is an amazing time out there in that, um, you know, what what is it that's, you know, what, what can we say about that, right? There is an opportunity in creative financing. There's an opportunity for all of us, Bill, in this non-performing space that's popping up as well. You're muted, Sorry, You're Bill. Muted, Bill. Yeah, I know. I, I just like moving my lips. <laughs> um, this is what really gets to me is that the CDC does not have any authority to put a ban on evictions. Right? I didn't get into the political part of it. I was going to let you do that. <laughs> but, uh, the president himself stood right up on a podium and, Wendy, you need to put a battery in that camera because it's getting ready to go away. 
I'll do my best to make that happen. Yeah, there's that big red light blinking between the two of them, right? <laughs> um, anyway, the president stood right up at the podium and said, yes, it's probably not legal, but by the time you uh, go through your judiciary to uh, fight it, uh, it's going to end anyway. But the way things are going, you might as well go ahead and fight it because uh, they'll try to extend it again. <laughs> I said it. And, you know, so I was thinking Monday rolls around. We were getting ready to do a podcast and by God, it came through right. 430 Monday afternoon. <laughs> See, and uh, here's the thing. And I get why government wants to protect consumers, mm -hmm. but no one cares about uh, businesses, small businesses, small businesses get killed in these circumstances mm -hmm. because your bigger businesses have the lobby uh, they have plenty of capital. It's the small mom and pops mm -hmm. landlord and businesses that get, get smashed in these things. Nobody cares about those folks. Um, most people that own rental property have a little bit of leverage on it. Uh, if they're smart, their leverage mm -hmm. was fairly low. Uh, but you know, the way things are with interest rates being so low, a lot of people, took cash out to buy new properties with, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I get that. And that's one of the things I try to tell people all the time uh, that are owning single family, get as many of these really low cost mortgages as possible, but please, whatever you do, don't go above 70% in your leverage because you never know what happens. Uh, you need yeah. to keep some equity in there. Yeah. Um, now, the, the good folks that I understand that are, are, are renting out properties and, and had good communications with their tenants, most of those people are all paying. But I do really feel sorry for the, uh, the landlords who are, uh, they're going to end up losing their properties and there's nothing that they can do about it. And, and it's all government mandated. That's right. Well, How imagine, well, well, hey. imagine that 47 billion that's been sent to the states and Three billion has been distributed, and this just didn't happen yesterday. The states have had it for a while. Yeah, and you're wondering, mm -hmm. you know, what what the deal is? Do they not Where have the personnel it? to put it out there? Or are they just ha hanging on to it for themselves? <laughs> because they uh, legally they can't spend it on anything other than rent assistance, right? right? 